WQEX thanks those who have made broadcast of this program possible, our members, and Security Blue, a Blue Cross and Blue Shield Medicare HMO from Keystone Health Plan West. And by Thrift Drug, celebrating 60 years of service with more than 125 locations. Thrift Drug, the one you can trust. And by St. Margaret Memorial Hospital, enriching the lives of seniors and their families. If you're older, you're in capable hands at St. Margaret. For more information, call 784-4144. Yoga is an Indian science dealing with the search for the soul. Now the word itself signifies both the way to discovery of the soul and union with it. I'm Eleanor Shano. Now I know that to many of you this sounds a little too cosmic for your taste, but how can you negate something without at least learning what it's all about? In just a moment we're going to explain the principles of yoga and tell you how it can help you not only spiritually but physically as well. It's up next on tonight's edition of AgeWise Weekly. Did you ever wonder why some people seem to have just a little spring to their step and they seem to be flexible and limber and, and look and act a lot younger than they really are? Well, maybe some of these people have a secret and it's a secret we're going to share with you tonight. It's a secret to uh, really finding inner peace, feeling flexible, feeling supple, feeling great. And the secret is yoga. I, I can hear some of you out there saying, yoga, that's not for me, that's, you know, as we said a minute, a minute ago, it's kind of too cosmic. Well, before you make up your mind, I want you to meet my guest, and she just might change your mind. Her name is Barbara Grossman. Now, Barbara is a uh, yoga instructor, and she's the owner of the Pittsburgh Center for Natural Health. Barbara, a lot of people, when they hear the word yoga, they think of some, some little Indian man sitting all wrapped around himself like a pretzel. That's not it. Now, can you explain the philosophy simply for us? Well, it's, a, it's an ancient exercise used predominantly for uh, to in, increase strength and flexibility. It's been used for thousands of years, and it's, um, it's very helpful for a lot of um, physical impairments and ailments. It's probably the oldest of the, the personal uh, development disciplines. And the thing I think that is great about yoga is that anyone can do it anywhere. You don't need any special equipment. Correct, you yeah. don't have to have a special outfit, a special uniform. All you really need is about how much space would you say? Just enough for a big towel, right? To lie down on That's the floor. That's right. Six by, six by three. And you do need the desire to be healthier, to be more flexible, to have a toned, uh, healthy body. Human beings are made up of three components, body, mind, and spirit, and, and that is the philosophy of yoga, that all three have to be in harmony, and it all begins with, with good breathing, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, breathing is the most important thing. Uh, there, are, there are many, many uh, breathing exercises that are um, recommended for in, in, in your yoga practice. The, one of the most beneficial is the alternate nostril breath, which um, promotes balance. And um, I'd be happy to demonstrate. I, can, can, later I know on. it yeah. takes. Uh, I know it. It. Um, it, it is probably is not good television because you're just going to sit and watch Barbara breathe for <laughs> uh, a few seconds. But I think it's worth taking those few seconds because it has worked for me over the years in so many situations. It gives you instant, instant calm. 
um, control, uh, instant relaxation. Okay, let's just get a shot of Barbara and let her just do this alternate nostril breathing. And, and as she does it, maybe those of you at home want, want to try it too. Okay, Barb, go ahead. Yeah, that's a nice idea. You take the, um, uh, you put down the, t the last two <coughs> fingers and you use the middle finger and the uh, thumb and you inhale through the right nostril to the count of two. Retain the breath for eight. And then exhale through the opposite nostril to the count of four. And then again, inhale through the left nostril to the count of two. Retain for eight. And then exhale to the count of four. Okay, it's very, it's very, very, it's very simple. You're, you're yeah. actually um, just using one nostril, closing off both nostrils, and if you try it, and, and if you didn't get it from that brief demonstration, there are so many books out there that will mm -hmm. uh, teach you exactly how to do it. It is amazing how uh, how instantly relaxed you can be. By the way, we are live and we're here. Barbara's in the studio, and if you have any questions about this as we go along, 683-1600 is our number. Um, Yoga, it, it really deals with keeping the spine flexible, and the spine is what's well, the backbone of our body. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. And this is probably why people who practice yoga, they do have eternal youth. They, they do seem, uh, do you remember the, the, um, the, the two sisters, one is still alive and the one lived to be 102, and, and she was just as, as spry and as, uh, as flexible as could be, and she did yoga every single day. My. Are you a practice? Uh, do you practice what you preach? Do you do? Oh, yoga? absolutely! Yeah, I have a I have a daily practice. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just um, had a baby five weeks ago, and I practiced up until the last day of my up, up through my pregnancy, the last day of my pregnancy as well. Which is and why you look so fantastic mm -hmm. tonight. Thank you. Uh, the relaxation properties uh, we've already talked about. It also releases energy. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it releases energy to the spine and all the uh, other parts of your body and promotes better circulation as it releases the, the energy. Yeah. The, the, um, the, the old yogis, and, and yoga does go back thousands of years, uh, they really understood the human being and our relationship with the environment. And I read somewhere that the yogis considered the, uh, the, the body the vehicle. That's right. And the mind the driver. That's right. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing yoga, you really do have to, have to use both components. Mm -hmm. What about the best time to do yoga? Do you do it in the morning? Do you do it at night? Should you do it once a day, twice a day? Well, that would vary with each individual. Some people have, um, some people like to get up and start their program in the morning, but oftentimes it seems as if um, some people have a tendency to be a little bit stiff. Their joints are a little stiff in the morning, so they prefer to wait till later in the day. There's a couple of different ways you can go about it. You can loosen up. One thing that's very helpful to remember is stretching stretching you can even do that before you get out of yeah. bed in the morning yeah. to stretch and um, if that still isn't helpful enough for you uh, wait till the afternoon to do your program you can um, apply some uh, nice homeopathic creams to your achy joints to help you loosen up a little bit uh, or wait till the evening to do your practice I yeah. think uh, when you mentioned stretching, uh, Barbara, that is so important, not just in practicing yoga, but any form of exercise, and particularly as we get older because uh, our, our muscles tighten up and, and we should all do some kind of uh, stretching yeah. every day. Can you uh, tell us rather briefly how, how you got interested? You are a yoga instructor. You work with a lot of seniors, I know. How did you personally uh, get started with yoga? Well, it, it, uh, I used to do, do yoga over 20 years ago, and it seemed like I fell out of the habit and got, got into other forms of exercise, a little bit more active, uh, participated in other forms of exercise. And um, then it was actually a car accident that reintroduced me back into my yoga practice. I found that um, uh, some, of the, some of the programs that had been recommended for me weren't, weren't real helpful and I fell back into my yoga practice and that was what uh, really brought me back around okay, from Hey Barbara, accident. let's let's go to the phones. We have a caller out there, line six. Go ahead, you're on the air. Okay, um, quite some years ago I had gotten into yoga and very enjoyed it very much and I had several knee injuries and I can't kneel down and it seemed mm -hmm. to me like there was an awful lot of kneeling that was involved in the yoga. Is there, I'd like to get back to it but I, there's no possibility for me kneeling. 
Oh no, there, there are countless exercises. There's over 8,000 yoga postures and kneeling is just um, really a select few or only just kneeling. There are really quite a few that you can do that don't involve your knees at all. And there are many that could benefit your knee injury pro or your knee problem. Um, mm -hmm. But you would almost, you, it's a good idea to get involved in a program, buy some books. And, yeah. and maybe in the case of someone that, that does have a, a problem, uh, s some, a good instructor would probably oh, help in the beginning to say, yeah. do this, don't do that. Uh, many people are drawn to yoga as a way to keep uh, slim and trim and supple, but, and I think you just touched on that, yoga also helps to uh, heal a lot of injuries, right. helps with a lot of ailments, and we're going to take a short break and we're going to talk about some, some just miraculous things, everything from high blood pressure to varicose veins, so stay with us. 683-1600, Barbara Grossman and I will be right back. Pay a visit to Bayview Retirement Village, where the residents are very friendly. Do you mind if I sit down? Sit, stand, do whatever you like. You can burn to the ground for all I can. <laughs> where dining is always an experience. This meat isn't very good. Never is. What is it? Squiddle. And it's a place where you're only as old as you feel. Well, I want to do something young. Good idea. Go and play in the traffic. Join in the fun. Waiting for God. Thursday night at 7 and 7.30. WQEX 16. From furniture to paintings, to dolls and sock warmers, every antique has its history. I suppose 1780, 1790. I mean, it's best part of 200 years old. Oh, wow. And price. In this condition, and in the current market, I think you'd see a, pr a price approaching a thousand pounds. That's quite astounding. Discover the treasures you may have on the Antiques Roadshow, Saturday afternoon at 4.30 on WQEX 16. A young musician wants to change his tune. I can fight. You don't know it, but I can fight. Though boxing could win him money, women, and fame, he could lose something more important. Papa, I wish I could make you understand. I gotta do what I gotta do. William Holden, Barbara Stanwyck, and Lee J. Cobb star in Clifford Odette's Golden Boy, Saturday night at 8 on WQEX 16. You know, I first became interested in yoga way back in the 70s, and at that time, there, there weren't a lot of people out there teaching yoga, and I learned what I first learned from a book. Lots of good books out there with lots of good diagrams, but the best way is with a good instructor like Barbara Grossman, and Barbara is our guest tonight, and she's here to answer any of your questions. In fact, we have a caller on the line. We'll go right to that caller now. Go ahead, line eight. You're on with Barbara. Hi, um, I'm 36 years old. I'm, my husband and I are trying to conceive another child, and I, I work out pretty regularly, but not as often as I would like because I have a rather demanding job. It's very stressful. And then listening to your program today, I was thinking maybe this would be a good thing for me to get into. And I wanted to know where I would start in the whole nine yards. Okay. Okay, well, a very good place to start is a class, and you can come see us actually at the Pittsburgh Center for Natural Health. We're located in Aetna. We have a variety of classes to suit um, different levels. We have everything from a class that's uh, designed specifically for seniors. It's a gentle yoga class to a... Um, Caller's only 36, so be careful, Barbara. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then we also have a class that's designed for people that are uh, used to a very high-impact cardiovascular workout. Mm -hmm. So we have everything that falls in between. Okay. Yeah. Um, some of the things that you should do before you start yoga, uh, before, you, before you take that first step, it, Do you need to, to check with your doctor? It's always advisable to, I anytime you embark on any sort of an exercise program, to ask your doctor's permission, get, get the um, I don't want to make any of the doctors mad out there, but, <laughs> but you know, a lot of, a lot of um, medical professionals, they don't even understand what, what things like yoga are all about. And you go to the doctor and say, can I do yoga? And say, well, if you want to explain to me what yoga is, then I'll let you know if you can do it or not. Yeah, but I So think I think yoga can be very gentle, though. It, uh, yes. it can be whatever you want it to be. Yeah, yeah. And I think just about any doctor probably would recommend um, a good exercise program, especially a gentle one to start with. Mm -hmm. All right, now we have um, already talked about the fact that yoga can help many ailments. Um, arthritis, rheumatism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
It's, uh, it's highly recommended for rheumatism and arthritis. There's a whole series of joints and glands exercises that are done, and they isolate, um, you can isolate actually from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, um, and do exercises and address each, an indivi each individual uh, part of your body. I noticed you brought a book that yes. says um, joints and glands. So if you go to the library or if you go to a bookstore, I think you're going to be amazed when you, you yeah. see the variety of different kinds of books available. So uh, it, it is very successful in dealing with arthritis and rheumatism. That's correct. And yeah. how about that common ailment, back pain? back pain actually there's a, a lot of series of uh, very nice exercises that are done there are floor exercises which address back pain and sciatic nerve which is oftentimes uh, a big complaint of, of many people and it, there's a very simple exercise to be done to alleviate that sciatica nerve okay unfortunately you have to believe a lot of the things we're telling you tonight because uh, mm -hmm. in our studio and uh, it, it's just not possible to demonstrate these things but uh, trust Barbara she is an expert call her line six Go ahead, you're on the air. Line six, are you out there? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Um, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Um, a medicine about um, spine injury was spine. What's good for that? I, did you say spine injury? No, God. Spine trouble. When you get, do your exercises and all that, you have trouble. Okay. Oh, man. Spine? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm sorry that we can't. I, we can't hear. Jackie, do you know what she's saying? Oh, spine injury or varicose veins. Okay, sorry, caller. We just our our our, our system uh, probably was just not as clear as it should be. Mm -hmm. Spine injury or or varicose veins. Yeah, you have to be very very careful with the spine injury. Um, one thing to, that that I should stress when it, when you're doing your yoga practice or or any sort of exercise program. It's, um, it's recommended, especially with yoga, not to exceed, only, to know your limitations. You're, you're most familiar with your body and it's important not to push yourself too far. Um, inverted postures are very nice for varicose veins, mm -hmm. but it's, it's advisable to seek the, the help of an, uh, a qualified instructor. And you start slowly. Yeah, you, start you, slowly. you start slowly and, and it's amazing how quickly you develop flexibility and strength. Caller, line eight, you're on the air. Okay, I've been in doing yoga for about three years, and it's wonderful. And um, what she said is like doing the gentle exercises and how it helps you. But recently, I've heard of power yoga. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Could someone heard explain of that. Yeah. what that is? It, to me, it sounds like too much. <laughs> Well, it sounds like a contradiction to me. Well, there is a whole system based on, it's based on an eight limb series, which is an old, it's an old yogi that, that had developed it years and years ago. It's called Ashtanga Yoga. As a matter of fact, we will be starting an Ashtanga series at the center on February 1st. Did you say and eight limbs? I only have four. Now, where do you get eight <laughs> limbs? It's a very, very long and involved. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, we'll get into that at another time. Yeah. Uh, from a psychological point of view, yoga also sharpens your intellect and, and your uh, ability to concentrate. Yes, it does. And I think this is very important to, uh, it should be to a, a lot of adults. It improves your posture. And really, I, I think if people want to, to look young and stay young looking as long as possible. Uh, posture is probably one of the most important things. And when you get into yoga, it, it, there's just something that automatically makes you want to sit tall. That's right, right you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you sit tall. I don't tall. know why that is, do you? Um, probably because you feel, you, f you have a tendency to feel poorly when you're slumped over after you've been erect for such a long time. Do, practicing yoga, you, f you end up feeling considerably more comfortable sitting erect. And it helps to develop a sense of balance. Yes. Another thing that a lot of older people uh, right. suffer from that, that loss of, of feeling steady on their feet. And there are, there are postures that just deal with balance, yeah, right? Yeah, they promote good balance, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just a whole big, long list of, of positive things that you can do for your body, your mind, and your spirit. We're going to take another short break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to continue our conversation with uh, Barbara Grossman from the Pittsburgh Center for Natural Health. Our phone number is 683-1600.
I'm Jeffrey Lyons, co-host of Sneak Previews. And I'm Michael Medved. Join us each week where we give you more information and more complete scenes so you can make your own decisions on the new films that are must-see and the ones that are must-miss. Plus our Family Find, weekly recommendations for new films and videos the whole family can enjoy. So tune in Saturday afternoons at 4 on Pittsburgh's second great public station, WQEX 16. How do some fish create their own light? Why did witches use toads to cast spells? You'll be dazzled, amazed, and entertained as you learn about the startling world around us on Eyewitness. Eyewitness combines fact and fiction, history and legend to answer these questions in a spectacular journey into the fascinating world of animals and their environments. Don't miss Eyewitness. Sunday night at 7.30 here on WQEX 16 communities most affected by HIV and AIDS haven't been given the resources. Nobody still gets that this is happening to families. How can you do this to your family? You've embarrassed us! Largely out of discrimination. The heterosexual community has not risen to this AIDS virus. We really have developed a community. It's important that we're unified. We're still here because we have ourselves. It's important that we support each other. Positive. Life with HIV. Sunday night at 11, here on WQEX 16. Well, uh, Barbara, I guess if you want to feel more calm, more in control of your life, if you want to be slimmer and trimmer and more supple and more flexible and stronger, you're going to practice yoga because it does all of those things for right. you. and. It is rather time consuming though because once you get into a program, how much time do you spend a day doing yoga? Well, I, I like to spend at least an hour a day, but it doesn't necessarily have to be time consuming. What you can oftentimes do is take 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, and 10 minutes in the S evening and do a little bit at a time and it doesn't seem to be as time consuming. So you can way. break up your program, That's right? right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Caller, line six, you're on the air with Barbara Grossman. Yes, uh, about three years ago I had um, brain tumor surgery and my left frontal lobe was obliterated and I live in, with chronic head pain. Now I've been able to get myself in shape every other way. I've lost 125 pounds, mm -hmm. I, so I juice, I walk five miles a day, but I live with this head pain and I can't sit still and concentrate. Would it be possible that maybe this would help me? I would think the breathing and the uh, the breathing and relaxation uh, exercises would be very very beneficial. Even meditation, uh, I would highly avoid some of the um, more difficult postures, but the the breathing would be probably very beneficial. Barbara, uh, I think a lot of people feel like the caller that that you just can't meditate and and you can't sit still and you can't concentrate. But this is a learned discipline, am I right? I mean, it's, yes, it um, is. It's something that you, uh, I know, I know. again, on a personal note, I've had a great deal of, of trouble with that, trying to learn to meditate, trying to calm my yourself. mind, because our minds are just active and all those little things just keep going yeah. in and out. But you can learn, and it is something that it does take time, and it is part, again, of the yoga philosophy. Mm -hmm. A lot of that has to do with, with a calm, peaceful, quiet mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the relaxation is just uh, really one of the, one, one of the many, uh, many benefits. Uh, you were telling me that a lot of the postures are uh, really, if you watch an animal, you'll understand, and especially a cat. Absolutely, oh, yeah. cats are just, they, they're just wonderful to watch. Yeah. And you do have some postures called the feline or is a there? Cat, there's a cat flex, there's an a do, inverted dog pose, an upward facing dog, a downward facing dog, there's a peacock, there's a snake, there's a cobra. I mean there are countless postures that are named after animals and um, that's probably from having observed animals. Yeah. Okay, caller, line eight, you're on the air. Uh, a 75 year old woman that's been kind of sedative uh, because of an accident and is, is it too late to start on yoga at that age and does it help you lose weight? It's, it's, it's never too late to start any exercise program, especially yoga. It's, uh, it's a nice gentle way to start a pro an exercise program, especially after you've been in a car accident. And um, it's, it's a good 
weight loss vehicle and it, it's, it's good for toning the body as well. You become, Barbara, I think you become in, in tune with your body. Through yoga you get to know and understand your body a little more and it becomes part of just many disciplines including, I'm, I'm sure, uh, and you are probably very involved in this at your, at your center, uh, nutrition. That's right. Meditation, yeah. uh, a, lot of, a lot of other disciplines as well, but um, I can only uh, support what you're saying to the 75-year-old woman. Oh, it's the best. Mm -hmm. It is the best thing that, that, uh, that at, at the age of 75 that you can do to begin, especially since she said that she has, uh, uh, she's had a rather sedentary life. Right. But it's like anything else you have to start. Start slowly. Start and slowly. the first step is the more difficult. You have, uh, you have some books that you, you brought along and the one at the bottom, I thought maybe you could hold that up because it's, it's, it's kind of inspiring because it says yoga made easy. Yeah. And there are, are yoga for beginners. That's right. Um, yeah. the, the, the benefits are just, uh, just innumerable. Yeah. Yeah, countless. Any other little tips you want to give us? Uh, no, when you start a practice, make a commitment and stick to it. Stick to it. Um, even if you only have five minutes every day, it's, it's better to do five minutes than nothing at all. Now, Barbara, yeah. at your uh, Center for Natural Health, mm -hmm. you have a program on Wednesdays. It's uh, yes. called a Senior Sampler. Yes. Uh, what are you sampling? We have a program that we've designed especially for seniors. We start with a uh, gentle yoga class in the morning at mm -hmm. 10 o'clock till 11.30. Then we have a pro uh, an exercise program from 12 till 1 called Exercise in Disguise. We have three mini workshops that um, they're more introductory type workshops to a lot of different modalities uh, involved with natural health and healing. And, um, and then at 6 o'clock we have a Tai Chi class and for more information you can call the center. The whole entire program allows you to um, participate for just for $5. For $5 seniors. and the phone number is 782-6525. 7826525. I want to digress for just a moment because I want to remind all of you out there that tomorrow is uh, our monthly seminar at Health Place, uh, sponsored by Blue Cross and Fifth Avenue Place downtown. And uh, we're going to have a, a very interesting uh, session tomorrow. Judy Dodd, our um, favorite nutritionist, is going to be the guest, and we're going to continue a conversation that we had here on AgeWise on, um, you know, the no-fat controversy, the new uh, no-fat synthetic Alestra. So we're going to have a wonderful session tomorrow. It's um, at 12 noon, and uh, it's on the third floor of Fifth Avenue Place, and it's free. So come down and join us if you can. Uh, Judy and I will be there at, at 12 noon tomorrow. And Barbara Grossman, it has been really exciting having you. Uh, Barbara, you are truly a woman of the 90s. Barbara not only has started her own business, but Barbara is a brand new mama. She mm -hmm. has a five-week-old daughter who is being such a good baby because good baby. Sarah <laughs> Grossman is in the studio right now, and Sarah brought her, her babysitter with her tonight. Daddy. And um, <laughs> if her babysitter <laughs> looks a little familiar <laughs> to you, it's because... Hey, um, he used to have, he had another career uh, a few years back, and he has a couple of rings. Uh, Randy Grossman, number 84. 84 in your you program. Have four here. <laughs> hey, you, you, you know what this is all about, don't you? You have um, four Super Bowl rings, yes. and uh, how do you feel right now when you see this team coming up to another big Super Bowl? Well, I'm really excited for the players because they're going to have so much fun down in, in Tempe next week. And um, they've got a, a real positive thing going for them. I and mean, Dallas has never beat us in the Super Bowl. Uh, you were there once. You've been <laughs> twice, there and you've done that, twice right? With twice with Dallas. Yeah. Four Super Bowl rings. You're going to make. We have a ten, about ten seconds. Make a prediction. Um, I think the Steelers are going to win by a few. Win by a few. You heard it right here. <laughs> Number eighty-four, Randy Grossman. Barbara Grossman, and look at good baby. If we can just go Sarah. out tonight with a close-up of our little Sarah Grossman, five weeks old, and 20 years from now, you're going to remember tonight. Have a good night, everyone. Aww. Floral Arrangement for AgeWise Weekly, provided by Orr's Flower Shop of Shadyside.